people welcome back more alan wake ready to continue on alan's path uh, not sure what our game plan is for later tonight to be honest i'm not sure if we're streaming later tonight we, we're usually playing Baldur's gate on saturdays but apparently when uh when they updated the game it like broke a bunch of stuff so we've decided to to push that stream off for another week sadly so no Baldur's Gate later, but uh, you know we'll, we'll get through some Alan Wake now and later maybe I'll I'll do something else. Who knows? We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. This is weird. What the hell? From what I gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> oh, they're like pointing us to go this way. That's so weird. This is this is this is so like meta and weird. This is just out there. It's so weird, dude. Y'all weren't kidding when you said you have to play Wake's chapter. This is out there. And the award goes to Alan Wake. And all your stories of crime and chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much, I had to get away. Yeah, Ashtray Maze is the only thing I think I could compare this to.
But there is more to it than meets the eye. I never meant for it to ruin my life that way. You just say you let the jaded lie. Dark shades could never save the day. So sad, but true. This is so weird. Getaway. I think I gotta go to the getaway club. Maybe I just run around until the song's done? Well, the thing is, this, this, the neon arrows, they just start looping. Like, this one's telling me to go this way. I go over here. Oh no, there's another one, what the fuck? Bro, we're so dead. Hang on, let me just real I can probably get out of this. Hang on. Jesus. Yeah, I think I just gotta use the flare gun to one shot these dudes. Oda King, welcome. 
the booty champion tier. Enjoy those new tier 2 perks that were just added. Oh god, shit, there's two of them here. We've done it! Oh man, that was close. There's a lot of fucking stuff here. I think I just need to use the flares and... So Chad, I got some bad news. Booty bot is getting uh Booty Bot's getting discontinued. They're gonna shut it down in December. Which I don't even think it's in chat right now, so Oh well. I need to take the uh 
take all the commands on it and put it into the, the stream elements bot instead. They said, um, after careful consideration, we've decided that it's right for us to shift resources. Uh, if you currently have an active description, you won't be billed anymore. Committed to processing all sponsorship payouts through December 1st. No more booty bot. What the fuck? Such a dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this real? I cannot remember. There was a manuscript, it held a key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. Echo seems to seek out again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to its end. Thirty month milestone indeed. What's happening? I am behind on stream 2 and 3. Can you give me a quick up to speed, bro? I think everybody that's even up to speed is just as lost as you are right now. We had just started Alan's new chapter, and it's just this. We have no idea what's going on. It's like a musical. I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. game's just a trip. <laughs> We're gonna go a little bit more on Alan's chapter. I feel like I've accomplished nothing. was all about me this performance the dark place was putting on but i had no control over it i knew how utterly lost i was the payphone was ringing again the mystery caller was back at it i had alan wake do you know who i am how the fuck could i whoa there's that famous temper Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. 
Kratz can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. The Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. Where the hell's the hotel at? straight ahead but there's something over here I missed a word of power I guess that's a down like in the subway I ain't going I ain't going back to that it's too far the ocean view hotel my destination not the subway area hold up I like words of power I will go look I will briefly go look or it might be a cache I just don't feel like getting gang banged by a bunch of enemies no that's like far though that's like Down that way? Like down that way and into an alley. Wake. Wake. Oh god! Fucking! Let the bullets wait. I did all this. Wait. Should be like right here or whatever it is, but I came over here. I remember finding this word of power because it tells you to go over and then it's right there. Did it not register? Or is, it, is there something else over here it wants me to get? So I got the cash. I got the word of power. Also be high above. Oh god, what the fuck, bro? These shadows... Man, I'm getting real fucking sick of these shadows grabbing at me and shit. No, there ain't nothing high above. Nothing that's visible at least, or that I can reach right now. Could it be something below? Oh 
They're about to gangbang me, bro. Yeah, I'm guessing it just didn't register. That's the one we got previously. A loop that delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. Fucking sick of these shadows. The dark place wouldn't let me go that way. Arrow. was building was fragile constantly under attack there was no time to waste the dark presence was only a step behind me before it was too late. Too late again. Room 665.
Wait, it's looping again. Alan Wake would probably do well as like some weird fucking TV show. Like lots of Twin Peak vibes, horror thriller. I could see HBO doing a good Alan Wake. I wasn't fucking with all them. Gladly use up my last flare for that. I was like, no. Nope. Into the homeless tent wake, go. Say very nice. TV show development at AMC? Well, maybe. I mean, they do Walking Dead, so it can't be terrible, but. View Hotel. I was getting close. affected where the door led to. There's a staircase down, so I guess I had to go back and go over to the staircase now. I think it's down and around. I don't know.
I'm super confused. Didn't I come from that way originally? Maybe I have to go through that door? It's all an echo up top. Is that up top? That looks like it's behind us. That looks like it's, uh... Well, now it's not showing up. Now it's showing over there. What the fuck? Some right on top of it. Goes up and around. Now this is the way I went before. There's an echo back over there and one here. I need to get over to there. Where is that at exactly? I don't see a way to get over to there to take that down. continue down that path that I was already taken. Uh, unless I gotta like change the world to get to it or something. I'm not seeing the dot at all. Are y'all sure? Oh, hang on. There we go. This city will suck you dry if you stay here for too long. You'll end up a lost soul haunting the streets and alleys. A faded out shadow, glimpsed by some other poor bastard on his way toward the same fate. Your broken dreams become a broken mirror, and the twisted reflection staring back at you with all the pent up anger, regret, guilt, and shame was the monster you could never get away from. Wake. Well, this is where I came from. I ran. What the fuck, bro? I'm lost. I'm just. I'm super lost. So I went through the homeless thing. And then I was running. And I got in here. And I got a save off. Then I took the ladder up. The fuck, bro? I'm on the ladder! 
Uh... Well, light changes where doors lead, but there's only like one door I've been through. That's the thing. I went through this door. Unless I can get out from here now with that lit. Another thing. Loopy with the 44 months. We didn't have this one lit. Let's keep it lit and then try and take the same path backwards, I guess. Making Eliza P walk through now. Missing the stairs? Where, bro? Fuck, these stairs were not here a second ago, dude. That shit like, sucks. What if I send you a hundred dollars? Well, then I'll have a hundred dollars. <laughs> so, I'll take it. But it's not gonna make me make a walkthrough. <laughs> I'll just have a hundred dollars. Shotgun, 19. I mean, Liza, Liza P just it doesn't need a walkthrough. Like, this game would be more suited to a walkthrough than Liza P, as easy as it is to get lost. Liza P, like, you, like, Liza P, you're going down your map. And then it's like, do you go this way or do you go right? And you're like, I'm going to try and go right first. And you'll go right for like two minutes and then it circles you right back. And you're like, okay, now I'm going to go straight again. Like, there's just no, you're not going to get lost in Lies of P. And because of that, it doesn't need a walkthrough. Anytime I do walkthroughs, it's because there's an expectation that the player is going to get lost or confused in the game and not be able to figure out where they go. Lies of P spells all that shit out for you. I mean, there's there's even little icons on your, when you go to fast travel, it even shows you where everything is at. Like, oh, there's a quest over here. So, it's just not needed. Bro, I definitely just, You just caught a shotgun to the fucking face, dude. my only heal. Don't forget the shotgun? You mean the thing I just killed the guy with? Yeah, I'll make sure I don't forget it. Don't want to leave it behind. Oh, 
Bro, all right, this guy, this fucking, this, this is just ass. What the fuck? How do you even counter this? Those guys literally, they like instant teleport on top of you. I didn't even have a chance. I shot him and he didn't care. He just took the shotgun to the face and jumped on top of me. Now I'm eating painkillers like a fucking addict over here. Try and top my health off. Oh, there's a code? What? I need the code to get in the back door. The fuck? Where's my shotgun? Why did you come unequipped, bro? Two five five zero. Yeah, we don't have any flares, so that's not going to happen. Except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? Fuck. In this temple of shadow and mist, there's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still or running or kneeling? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell... Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker. A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What? Ah, you, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. Me and Neil, we're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. 
dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room, 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 in this room. What the f dude, this game just keeps getting fucking weirder. It's like I need the clicker. <laughs> it's returned, but because we returned. And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. If anyone asks, you were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. Yeah, this game borders on the line of like a performative art piece more than just a game. Fucking weird. The whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. This game feels so long. Like, we've only been playing an hour, but it feels like I've been going for like three. It's just like mentally draining. The entrance hall set the mood <clears throat> where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. Hang on, I gotta go move the kid passed out. I'm gonna move him to his bed. I'll be right back.
All right, where were we? Um, I'm half tempted for this, but it's kind of situational. But it would save on my healing. Is it not? Oh, it's how I gotta go to the black part. of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like... Damn, that one takes a while to play out. Director, director, so you I'm just gonna go pee. Director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. That worked out quite nicely. The only opinion that should matter is your own. No, Keith, my opinion is the most important opinion. We all know this. After my opinion, then your opinion matters. All right, so where the hell's the pre-show ritual? There's a bunch of places here. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something. <laughs> oh God! Out. No, you bitch! I'm. Tired of all these fucking shadows, man. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. Shadows are stressful, man. I like just fuck. Just trying to enjoy my time. Do a little Alan waking. And shadows attacking me constantly, bro. Right, so this just loops me back around. Is that all?
So has anyone tried the uh, the, the Fortnite OG? Just thinking of like shit I could do tonight since Baldur's Gate fell through. Solving the crime and creating it, as ever. I haven't played Fortnite in a minute. I tried to go back for uh, one of the events. And I was just getting fucking bodied by people. I was like, yep, this is what happens when you don't play for weeks at a time. Yeah, Baldur's Gate fell through. Basically, they, they the, the new patch they put out broke the mod. So we can't do the the five player co-op thing. Uh, apparently it broke a bunch of stuff, but so yeah, we're we're just kind of like you know, we're stuck sitting on our hands sadly. I needed to find the key. Yeah, we'll get back to it. Just can't do nothing right now. Oh, well, pretty sure ritual is definitely the right state. Gotta figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. Besides this one room. Wait, maybe I go in this room. And now that I'm in the room, I change the world back. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. Nope. Scratch that. Final scene. Maybe I can go to the final scene. changed with the story the prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225 Do you still work? Save that as my oh shit button.
fucking shadows, man. Any spooky games you can play? Bro, I'm already playing this. I ain't, I ain't doubling up on spookiness, alright? Y'all forget, I'm not a natural fan of spooky games. I like action games. Existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town. Sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road. And yet. Words of war. And I will see you soon. In. Now, Last of Us is more action oriented than this. I would agree with the the Twin Peaks <laughs> reference. The show is so fucking weird. Probably reminds you of Max Payne because yes, it is indeed the same devs. So where are we going? Container? Oh, inventory full. Well, 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 what could I use? Could waste one of those to get a full heal, fit it in. fuck am I going, dude? I don't know where I'm going, man. I'm so lost in this game. What are my goals? <laughs> Find the site of the pre-show ritual. I had to be at the scene. Alan, load the fucking gun! 
Fuck. This man needs a speed loader. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Room 101. How would I get... Uh, 101 is like all the way at the entrance. We'll come back to that at a later time. are all good marks all nearby resources or more inventory let's go more inventory that was just full on inventory in the play was called the cult of the tree with their deer masks they were the backwoods echo of the cult of the words urban horror move to room 202 move to room 202 I think I gotta go to 202 It could not be opened on the side. I took that light, but what the fuck do I use it on? I haven't seen another area that needs the light. Uh...
There's something that's changed in here that I can now interact with. Maybe the key showed up. Oh, yeah, this. This is where they gathered before the blight. This is where it began. Oh. How bad? They're they're making some changes to it, but it was really bad. Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? tapped into something horrifying it it seemed like it was part of the play but it wasn't does that sound crazy you don't want to ask me about crazy kid a haunted hotel yes that's a trope for a reason summoning in the ballroom uh, I go out through 219 and then towards the ballroom I guess and I can just exit through through the back side of 202 wait no hang on what fast one of those uh it's getting real all right i recognize my writer's room on the stage I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. What was the nice set you got here? What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. This was dark, but the story had to be dark. This is not my writing. This is Scratch mocking me. What, Harley? What do you want? Oh. 
Follow the Devil's Trail. Oh, oh god. Uh... No, fuck, get off of me, man! Bro. Dude, I can't even... Did he go this way? It looks like he went th that way. What? Oh. The devil walked through the hotel, dragging the whole place to hell with him. Man, all right, y'all are getting fucking annoying. Get a fucking flare in your face, dickhead. Enjoy that. of a new idea here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception and got me a room number. Hmm. Six, six, six. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. 
Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. Keep interrupting it accidentally. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Go this way first. Oh, maybe it's only... I'm only supposed to go to... to the room. Looks like it's just a dead end, basically. What do you want, kitty? Hang on a second. Doesn't add up. 666 is down this way. That's oh, at the end of the hall. his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Okay, okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Well, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene. Executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play. Alice. To murder her. Not you again. Spooky running sequence. I love spooky running sequences. They're so much fun. Uh, no, why does it do this shit every time you, you reload? Hey, I did it. Ha! 
The dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. The news was the murder victim. The final scene took place in the world. Get fucked, idiot. Wake's part's so fucking stressful, man. Huh. Investigate 108. Alright, where is it at? The on the deer reflected in motion in his room, he will hurt her and her. She is caught. Story ends. Her story does not. It's ritually right. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Mm, spooky. This was the murder site. There was a record at the. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. You again, the FBI agent, Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Wake. Are we are I'm still trapped? Yeah, the clicker. We can. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write another story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that. You can write out. I am... It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper, closer to escape. Somehow, I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of return. Yeah, it's, it's definitely hard to keep up with what's going on in this game. It's a lot. It's very intense, too. Find Alice. So, is there a janitor bucket anywhere so we can leave? Part of me just wants to like push through the remainder of Wake's story. Parliament 
Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did. Or had I chosen to pursue the cult, or had they chosen me for some unknowable purpose? To be a demon, to sort the clues based on my interpretation, to change that which I observed. It was all a play, shadows on the wall of the cave, an echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? in a performance set up for someone else. Mm. So Parliament Tower is just like straight. I don't think Jesse's been mentioned, but FPC has already been mentioned. And, uh, the last saga chapter, they basically just show up and they're like, we're taking over this case. So, FPC is, like, fully part of the world now. Whereas before, it was just kind of like, you know it's involved, but now it's, like, really involved. had turned the bathroom into a dark room. Second, let me go. Um, okay. I needed to get inside the manuscript. Barry's still alive and kicking. For months after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt. Alice's work had consumed the apartment. Her whole life. I can barely get out of bed. Barry was very very sick. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. I think I need to wait for the video to finish. He still checks in. Even after he moved out last.
One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed and I picked up my camera. Oh, man. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. There's a world hidden behind ours. A dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that, that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot, put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Full manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. The game is so fucking weird, man. Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. I needed a new draft of the story. 
I'm about ready to where's where's my bucket? I'm ready to to switch back to Saga. And go through the door and interact with my nope, door's locked. Damn. Game said shut up, sit down, right. I don't wanna. I wanna go back to Saga and blast stuff with my guns. Zane has said we worked on return together. That was a lie. The scratch wrote return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. Back to Saga. I mean, part of me feels like I should just punch through all of Alan's shit and get it done so I don't have to go back with it. But I also kind of like going back and forth. Let me, uh, I wanted to run out to the mail real fast and grab something, so let me do a poll. So, y'all vote. I'll be back in a minute.
I need to piece this together on the case board. Alright, let's see, swap back and forth at 54% of the vote. Pretty close vote. I had to run out for, our, our male people are so fucking lazy, dude. We still get like, we get tons of shit from the people that used to live here. Not like the people we bought it from, but like the people before them. And not only do they just leave that, but like if we get packages, they'll just shove them in the mailbox. And I have my, my Olipop show up. I just shoved it in there, and it just sits in the mailbox, getting fucking warm and nasty, and I'm like, fucking lazy mail people, bro. Like, how hard is it for you to walk it up to the door? It's ridiculous. Go to Valhalla Nursing Home. Okay. That is that way. Do we have anything in the shoebox? Did we take it all out? What do we have in the shoebox? Bunch of extras, bunch of charms. You say you didn't get a good look at your sample. Dude, I remember back when I lived in an apartment, they wouldn't even bring packages. They would just, they just fucking leave them. They'd leave them at the front office and be like, get your shit. Y'all are so fucking lazy. Like, literally, your job is to just deliver mail. We're not asking for a lot here. And that wraps up my list of favorite park benches. There was some talk, an off-color joke of sorts, about Winnie Davis and Dave. I exit out the back of this, I think. I like ran back. I think it was out this way for the trail.
It's worse than delivering the wrong stuff. People that said address, open your stuff. I mean, that's actually like a, a felony, opening mail that doesn't belong to you. Get people in big trouble. I just want them to stop delivering. I might actually I might pull I threw all of it out, but like we have a stamp that says like does not live here. And I'm about Hello? to put all of it back on the box. Be like, Take it all. Stop delivering it. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing! Oh, fuck! Fuck you, you fucking hag! Fuck! Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Could have just switched realities here. Should have done that. No, I we get like a shit ton of spam for the people that used to live here, like magazines, shopping stuff. I'm like, I don't stop. Like, no, we don't want this. This person hasn't lived here for like five fucking years. Like, part of me wants to just put in a change of address for that person, and. Like, just send it to somewhere. Anywhere. Anywhere that's not fucking here. There's another cult stash. Flare and 308. Ah, damn. All right, let me. I gotta go stash more shit and then come back. They have signs for the nursing home for in case the people want to go on trail walks, bro. They're old, they're not dead. Dude, what else can I stash? I don't need two fucking full heals. What's up? What's up is we're still playing this spooky fucking game. It's intense as shit. I just want to like play something relaxing, like Armor Core. That's very relaxing. It's murder people. Run around, it's a big robot. It's not scary at all. It's not stressful. It's a happy good time. Is Rise worth it? The Rise is absolutely worth it. Rise is an upgrade in every capacity to world with the exception of like the graphics because it's more stylized but rise is a phenomenal game so many good things about rise move the 308 i'm not gonna have be able to fucking carry it anyway move the flares over this way.
No, bro. All right, fuck it. I'm reloading. I just lost an arrow. Hang on. Save so just now. Okay. One shot, bitch. Crossbow, best weapon. This chest, it says I'm like on top of it. Oh. 200 total vehicles in a factory consisting of bicycles and cars. Each car has four wheels, each bicycle has two. There are a total of 754 wheels in the factory. How many cars are in the factory? Ah, math. All right, let's see. Okay. Total is 754 wheels. Okay, so... Bike plus R equals 200. Uh, 754 wheels the factory how many cars so it would be b plus c equals 200 and then 2b plus 4c equals 754 so B plus C, 100, 2B plus 4C equals 750. Okay. Uh, so I would do, God, eight algebra, bro. <laughs> these, these cult members are doing, yeah, right? Like, cult member got the math homework. All right, well, it would be so seven. I need to figure out what cars. So seven fifty four minus two B equals four C, which I could simplify down to seven fifty four minus B equals two C. Which I could then I plug in seven fifty four minus B divided by two equals C. So then I need to do um, Plus C. One seventy seven. How are you getting one seventy seven? Would be here. Hit her off just plugging random variables in. 154 wheels in the factory. Hmm. 
In India, we did this when we were five. By ten, we were already solving calculus. Good for you, bro. That, uh, that calculus helping you out? I haven't had to do math like this in fucking years, okay? Fifty-four divided by four, eighty-eight. How'd you get that? Seven fifty-four divided by four would be one eighty-eight point five, but that's assuming cars total. That wouldn't work out. Deep, you realize that you're just as much generalizing? You're making a, a big general statement about the education and inferring that your entire population is educated in doing calculus by the age of 10. And as such, you made another generalized statement, except with a negative connotation. But you're upset about that one, despite generalizing yourself. W equals seven fifty-four. Seventy-seven cars and twenty-three bikes. And that adds up. Wait. Close. Yeah, that would be it. See, I'm trying to remember. I don't even remember. What's it? It's not. For me, it's the. I've. I haven't done algebra like that in so long. I'm trying to remember how I would re how I would reach that answer in my head. D divided by two equals C. I'm having a, a brain moment here. And do the math. 754 W equals 754 200 I know B plus C together would be 200 and then W would be equal to 4C plus 2B Then you would do. Or like my kids are gonna be in school soon. I gotta remember how to do math like this to help with homework. I mean, we already have the answer. It's it's more in my head. I'm I'm trying to to remember how I would go about doing the math. How I would plug plug in the the two equations. It's like uh, it would be seven fifty four. It's it's seven fifty four equals four C plus two B, and then B plus C equals two hundred. 
200 equals C plus B. So yeah. Equals wait, 7 plus C, 4, B, 2. Yeah, we did that. Equals 200 minus B, and then substitute in C in the second equation. Wait, 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 wait. 200 equals C plus B. Did that. So then you're doing C would equal 200 minus B and substitute C in the secondary equation. So then we'd have 754 equals 4 times 200 minus B plus 2B. And then, so I could go 7, 54 divided by 4. Equals 200 minus B plus 2B. No, hang on. Hang on, bro. <laughs> I need a math stream. Yeah, 754 equals 4 times 200 minus B plus 2B. No, not that equation. So then I would go to remember how I would move this over. And then I'd have 754 minus 2B equals 4 by or multiplied by 200 minus B. Don't remember, can we just cancel out the B's on both sides? It doesn't work that way. Hey, two, 200 minus C. Plus four C equals Four hundred minus two C North American Education LOL. Listen here, you entitled little fucking prick. All right. I haven't had to do linear equations since the third fucking grade. Okay? I do not use them in my daily life, and there's no reason I would ever have to remember this. So if you somehow think you're special because you remember how to do linear equations, and that's somehow an insult to North American education, by all means, please take your dick, cut it off, and shove it up your fucking ass. Remember the last time I had to do fucking manual math like this, despite being an engineer? Years. gonna go to the fucking store and and do the fucking math you're gonna go to you're gonna go to the store and say Johnny needs four apples and start fucking calculating it in your head when do you use this shit in your daily life suck my balls all right so Keith you said we, we go to 400 because we can wait how are you getting to 400 minus 2c hang on B plus C equals 200. One hundred minus 2C plus 4C. Wait, I got too many little equations here. So I was at 754 equals 4C plus 2B. And then we're substituting in B plus C equals 200. So you were substituting B plus C equals 200. But how are you substituting that in? Two hundred equals A plus B 
times 754 equals 2a plus b 754 2 times 200 equals 2a plus 4b 2 times a plus b 355 equals 2bb bro this is <laughs> yeah i can't i can't follow the way you're describing it doing math is fun C plus B equals 200. So I could sub in, in place of B, I could do 200 minus C is going to be equal to B. So then I have 754 equals 4C plus 2 times. Two hundred minus C, which condenses to seven fifty four equals four C plus four hundred minus C. And then Seven fifty four. It's going to be four C plus four hundred minus C. I should be able to minus the four hundred out. So if we minus out four hundred, we get three fifty four is equal to four C plus negative C which would then come down to 354 equals 3C. And then C equals 118. And then 118, yes, okay. All right, I have figured out my math again. I just sub, even, even reading this, 254 equals 4C plus 2, we see this is 200. It's 4C plus 2, 100 minus C. Multiply that to get the 400 minus C. Take that out, 354 equals 4C plus minus C. 354 is 3C1, okay. We are good, 118. I remembered how to do linear equations. I mean, when was the last time I had to do this shit? I don't have to do it. Ever. Wait a minute. That's saying it's not one one eight. Hang on, one one eight is the hold up, no no no. Three fifty four would be equal to three C. C should be one one eight. Hang on, if there's a hundred and eighteen cars, four hundred and seventy two wheels, hundred minus one one eight is eighty two, times two is one sixty four. Wait, one seven. Hold up, what am I doing wrong here? Then how the fuck? Am, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Where is my math equation wrong? Seven fifty four would be equal to four C plus two B. C plus B equals two hundred. We can convert that to seven fifty four would be equal to four C plus two times two hundred minus C, which we're subbing in place of B. We multiply that to get 754 equals 4C plus 400 minus C. Since C is just going to be 254, hang on, minus 2 times 200.
we see 754 equal 4c plus 400 minus c. Since that's just going to be a simple operation, I should be able to minus the 400 to get 354 equals 3c. Fifty four. Oh, it's been so long since I've done this. All right, hold on. Let me, let me, let me, let me do. Um, I think. How could I draw this? Wish I had a tablet to write. Here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Y'all, y'all, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm going to pull up paint. I'm going to go through my math in paint. And y'all can tell me where I am I'm fucking up my math. Okay. All right. So we have... Cowboy relearns linear algebra. Uh, I don't need this big a brush. I could do a brush, but I need... So we have seven... <laughs> it looks so bad with the mouse and keyboard. We have 754 equals a total of four wheels per car plus two wheels per bike. Okay. <laughs> Let me... Okay, and then we also have the equation of C plus B equals 200. Welcome to Cowboys Academy. <laughs> so then we go 754 equals, and since we're trying to solve for C, the number of cars, we're going to plug an equation in. So... This can also be read as 200 minus B equals C. So 254 or 754 equals 4, 200 minus B plus 2B. And then from here, don't we have to multiply? We can't divide by four right now, can we? So we can multiply further to go 754 equals eight hundred minus B plus two B seven No, hang on. No, we can't because we have to do parentheses first. Yeah, minus 4b. That's where I'm, I'm fucking up. So, equals 800 minus 4b. I forgot to do the 4. Plus 2b. So, 754 would be equal to 800... These two will cancel out, minus 2b.
which is then eight hundred minus seven fifty four would be equal negative two B. Which, when we divide that by 2, we would get B equals 23. And then that times 2 is a total of 46 wheels. Or no, then we would just do 200 minus 23 for 177. This, this has been... Cowboys Academy. <laughs> we figured it out, chat. <laughs> but it was honestly, it was it was easier. It was easier putting it up on a big screen instead of my little notepad. I just need I just need a big whiteboard in front of me anytime I have to do math. And I'll be fine. Just give me <laughs> just give me a big fucking whiteboard. Oh god. Alright. I guess let's let's avoid the nursing home and, and go through this shitty trail. Or not, because it's all covered in water. Looks like we're not gonna oh no, never mind. Wrong part. We wanna go this way. I mean, the only reason I'm like, I'm, I'm stuck on like relearning this shit, because I know, you know, my kid just turned three. Fast forward like two or three years, and I'm going to be having to do math equations. And I see some of the shit parents post on Reddit where it's like, what the fuck is this? The math they give the kids these days is wild. So I need to, to up my math game to be able to help teach my kid math. Not that it's going to matter, because if he's built like me, he's going to probably be a fucking NFL linebacker. Another one of those lunch boxes. We should do that every time we run into a math problem? Bet! All math problems, we're now going to have a Cowboy Academy. I like that idea. It's a good idea. I can't pass that way, and I can't pass that way because of the flooding. So I think we have to go to the uh, the other place. Why the fuck isn't the flashlight hitting this person? Bro, you couldn't teach me maths if your life depended on it. Unironically, the only person in this chat that actually put out a readable fucking equation, despite being a huge troll, was Keith. I'm never gonna get used to this. Keith is known for nothing but trolling, and he's the only one that actually put together like a proper algebraic equation that was readable.
Just because you're good at math doesn't mean you can do fucking teaching for shit. Yes, Keith gets a balloon. I didn't even see yours, Allie. I was reading so many jank-ass equations in chat. Mm, have we gone up there? Yeah, we did. Never mind. There's a chest up there. I need to pop one of my fucking heels. I can't teach math, but I can tell you anything you need to know about systems usability analysis. And training curriculum creation. And systems optimization workflow. That's it. The thing is, once, once, you're, once you're, like, out of college, like, the only knowledge you really retain is, like, domain knowledge Colin relevant to your to field. Family. I know Logan and I never lived here. And I have no reason to but remember anything related to math. Like, the, the only, the only math that you really do in systems Mom, engineering is... Was bad news. Uh, the less I knew about him, the better. Basically, stats. Which, stats is all done... On a computer, anyway. You're not you're not doing hand equations for statistics. Which even then, I don't even do stats anymore. Because calling something significant in stats, and people are like, "Oh, it's significant, it's important," and it's like, "No, it's statistically significant." Different thing. I need bolt cutters. Just getting them. This is return five. What were we on with? What were we on with Alan? We were on, um, were we on initiation six? Oh, Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um, I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga, but Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, they had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Why can't I? There we go. Saga, this way. I get there, lady. I'm picking up a map and all the goodies that you have stashed here. Actually, pretty yeah, funny hands. Look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh wow! I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better love making, and 
old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Thor had abandoned everything. I like how there's bullets just sitting in drawers. Oh, thought I'd lost you. Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Point of interest I'm back there. Off away, but I know you'll just find it again. Girl, girl, put the worms out to be so strong. Oh, little Alan Wake shrine. Something here I'm supposed to. Baby's waking up, hang on. Ugh. Never mind, we're good. But he might need to wake up soon. Let me ask Paige how long he can sleep. I'm only letting him sleep like an hour and a half. Passed out. <coughs> I might try. Let me try and wake him up. Let me see. He was actually stirring, so I woke him up and put out. He says he's hungry. Alright. Uh, <clears throat> I got some Paw Patrol on for him. He will, uh, he'll chill there. And we can keep Alan waking. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs, but your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Hmm. 
Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! <laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. Norman's a naughty boy. Mandy Man Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? It's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. There are a lot of flares and shit. Excuse me, miss, but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. Thanks for don't the mind batteries. Me. And now I have to start over. Odin's in here. We're gonna loot everything we can. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? It's Tor's room. Painkillers. Oh, got shoebox. Okay. Uh, I don't need this many flares. That's too many fucking flares. Such a shame. Just closing my office door so I don't have to listen to Paw Patrol in the background. Oh, I shouldn't you. interrupt him. The government built a bunker here during World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Shitload of batteries. It's been a hot spot for teens. Oh, the trophy room, one more room, and then Thor. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and their electronic 
cigarettes. Ridiculous. Need to find the key. Damn, I'm loading up on so many things. Nothing in this room? Point of interest. Why am I not seeing it? This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Okay, I don't need this either. Oh god, the inventory system is so shit. Actually, let me just move these over. I'm not using the fucking charms anytime soon. I hate that I can't just click and drag. I need to click, wait, and then move. Click. Click. Like, holy shit. So what do we got on space? 21. Got tons of shotgun ammo, batteries. Good there. And we got arrows for days. I can probably store some arrows, to be honest. chapter the next chapter the next chapter keep the pages safe the dark shining of the words wake is hiding pages that's how he knows the cult has the clicker i don't know why his isn't like scratched out we've already uh, done his odin's in rough shape what happened to him these are our twilight years there's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? 
It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. <laughs> you said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. Saga? Tor. There's danger. Mind you. Don't worry, Odin. I'll find him. Talk to the Andersons, find Tor. Right, so his dialogue is done. Is this a case thing I gotta do? Tor and Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead.
The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Mm, that didn't open a pathway. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Damn right you will. Ciao. For puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um. That lady is a walking red flag. I explore the rest of this? No, it's undiscovered. I guess, yeah, that's locked. We have to go this way. Oh, here we go. Dark. Empty. Be ready, Saga. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Can't be opened on this side.
Oh, so that's the safe room. Locked, locked. So I guess back to the patient room for more clues. Go through security to get over there, maybe. Well, bathroom. Need to go deposit that, otherwise I'm going to be over encumbered in a second. Gotta be something in rehab that I didn't notice. Not a whole lot in here though. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Pick up. Damn it, stop it. With an arrow. A security computer. Ugh, this door needs a knob. The Coscala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey, desperate times. All the sticky notes don't have anything on them. Or 17, well, 17 is circled multiple times. Or 17, 17, 20, 17, 31, 29. So let's try 17, 20, I guess. So 
That's six. Something to do with this. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe it's moon phases that are... Uh-huh. Hmm. I mean, the puzzle definitely has something to do with that. Days off. Well, that wouldn't be enough. That would be 11, 22, 7, 31. That'd be too many. Hang on. 17 is circled three times. And besides that, there's 4, 20, and 31. And 29. So maybe 20... near the picture no this isn't a math one the dog maybe it has something to do with the 1508 1508 and 1608 hmm Was 1408. He uses European formatting. 1408, 1508, 1608. So. No. Odin said Tor needs help. But from what? Yeah, there is tons of puzzles in this game. If you want puzzles and suspense. Deduction available. Good. Deduct it all out. No. Tor left the wellness center. One was looking forward to something in August. Letter stating initiation on the day after the new moon. I have what I need to figure out the password. The computer controlled the door that Tor went through. Tor is being targeted. He needs help. Calendar shows dates or common passwords. Might be something here. Wonder what he was planning. Something in August. Leather stating initiation is the day after the new moon. Something in August, day after the new moon. So... The day after the new moon, as is transition. The new moon is August 16th, so 17. So 1708. 
23. Nice. And the doors are open. At the greet, inside a bright, bright, glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. I meet you at the greet inside a bright, glassy cage. There's four, and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. Poor, just drunk. I meet you at the greet inside a bright, glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. Meet you at the greet. Meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage where flowers bloom. Meet you at the greet, so like the entrance inside a bright glassy cage. flowers bloom. I think it means it's inside of there. How do I get go around? Yeah, you gotta love puzzles to enjoy Alan Wake. This game is shot fucking full of them. We're gonna do the rifle. We need to go deposit some shit or we're not gonna have any space. Okay, um, let's move our full heels out. Let's move our extra arrows out. Let's move our extra flare out. Move our extra heel out. We'll move our side and we'll go get the rifle. Yeah, I have like an excessive amount of healing for sure. Inventory full? Fuck, bro. That's a good deer. Got this like an achievement for petting all the deer. How much space is it going to take up? Wait, no. If I move you over, I bet I have enough. There's no way it's bigger than four, right? There we go. The better than the crossbow, though? Because crossbow, pretty fucking good, man. I need to fucking increase Saga's inventory, bro. Her inventory... Hold up. Can I... Do I have, like, words? Where's my, my magical words of power? I've been pumping them all into this. I mean, crossbow is already OP. Saga realized the crossbow could hold two shots at the same time. Had she just not noticed... How do I get inventory on Saga? That's wild. Bullets penetrate the darkness shield, so I don't even need the fucking flashlight. I 
I assume it's going to be like a one-shot kill. Otherwise, you know, why would you bother using this when you could just... Shit. What's that? Crossbow probably would have handled that faster. I need to catch up with Tor. This must have been Tors. Getting real sick of the fucking jump scares. Oh, there is a new Silent Hill, and it is a new competitor for worst game of the year. Cynthia Weaver, I know it's you. This kind of behavior is not okay. Let him go. This looks like a boss fight. Fucked up, Rose. Worst game of the year. I missed something. Oh, you definitely did, bro. The new the new Silent Hill thing that dropped out is like a choose your own adventure thing where people like pay money to pick choices to vote. And it's a hot mess. Like I don't think I've seen any positive coverage on it. What was that? Where did Tor go? Hold up, let me let me look it up. Uh, new New Silent Hill game has fans saying it should have stayed dead. Silent Hill worse than you expected. Silent Hill Ascension is dead on arrival. Uh, first, first Silent Hill game in 11 years. Most hated experience of the franchise. <laughs> uh, uh, has comparisons to interactive titles like Until Dawn or The Walking Dead, but without direct player input from a controller and on a much more massive scale since users must make decisions about the story together. Uh, the first episode was released this week. Audience have pointed out a variety of issues. From a lack of meaningful input on the story, thanks to massive viewership, 
which saw over a million pre-registered viewers before the release of episode one, to general technical issues and even microtransactions. Specifically, audience members who tuned into the first live episode cited issues with connection timeouts, login issues, and a plague of spammers and trolls in the stream's live chat, which Konami reportedly did little to prevent. Additionally, despite its free-to-enter promise from prospective viewers, the title contains premium collectibles that allow users to increase their personal influence on the story. While these are earnable in-game for free, a $20 Founders Pack exists, which boosts the frequency of these influence points and offers various other rewards for users who purchase it. This was the subject of outrage for many fans to its own right, with some users taking to social media to criticize it. Konami is repeatedly working on addressing... Uh, it's releasing new episodes on a monthly basis through the game's app and online. What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Profile time. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Is it supposed to be cold tonight? My office feels cold. No, it's like 72 out. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torngale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. What's a container back in the office? Fahrenheit is a bunch of high numbers, bro. Fahrenheit, listen. There are, I, I agree with the idea of the metric system, okay? I like metric over inches, feet, miles, all that. I'm, I'm on board with that. But Fahrenheit is just a smarter system. I mean, it's, it's basically a 0 to 100 scale. You know, at 30, start starts to 30, stuff is freezing. At 20, it's really warm. At zero, it's really fucking cold. At a hundred, it's really fucking hot. It's a super simple scale to understand.
There's other rooms that are locked up. Let's go upstairs, get the upstairs rooms first. There is... Map's taking a fucking minute, dude. What the hell? This isn't the map. Getting in is forbidden. For your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in Did I explore Adi's room? Sheesh. <laughs> Didn't see you there. Getting full. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk. <laughs> Kilometers or miles? Kilometers. Kilometers make just more sense. Millimeter, centimeter, meter. Kilometer. It's just, you know, constantly goes up. But Fahrenheit is better than Celsius. Keyfob's no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been, has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thank you. Uh, I gotta go. Old Gods of Asgard is also locked up. mentions a missing record do you know where it is odin driven by passion raging like a storm your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother the gym this morning Freya, and to you towards like a storm your mother did the right thing leaving with you even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine listen to the song saga it's all there tour only had one record made he keeps it in the museum odin knows my mom's name he's saying my mom took me away when i was still a baby plausible stay on task the record is in the museum. Down to the basement. Where is the basement? End of the hallway. I gotta go outside to access it, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Oh, 
fuck, bro. Oh my god. So it looks like the raf rifle, will, the raffle will one tap him. <laughs> the rifle is a one tap to the head, though. That's good. no good without power. I'm going to need a fuse probably. got no fucking space bro I really need to like put away one of my weapons or increase my fucking inventory size must be locked from the other side I mean, the rifle's good. It'll be better after I, uh... Yeah, maybe I should drop... Let me drop the rifle off for now. Because until I get the upgrade... Once I get the upgrade where it shoots through darkness... That's gonna be actually, like, wild. But until then, it takes up a lot of space. Somebody oddy keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Isn't this locked though? Can't be opened on this side. Budge. This place is a veritable fucking labyrinth. Hang on. Where am I going? I'm in the boiler room. I gotta sneak around to get to the laundry room. Must be locked from the other side. map's not loading it's like taking it's sweet time and just, there we go fuck all right so maybe there's a door here that i can either here or here to go into storage to get into the laundry room Is this why Odin keeps calling him Tom? A 
maybe that's where the fuses are locked up. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Man, if something pops up on me, it's getting a fucking shotgun to the face. Two seven So now I go... What was it over there, I guess? Oh, it's right here. There. Power's back on. So I gotta go back to the nursing home so the exit is... straight. Fuck it. Getting real sick of these fucking jump scares, man. the record room and Cynthia's room. That's second floor, third floor, the map speed. <laughs> this way? Seriously, I wish the map would stop being so laggy. Like, the load screen on the map takes forever, and then when it does load, it looks like fucking this, and I can't barely make out anything. Angus Remorse. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. She will tell me where to find it. Yes, yeah, it's on a forty nine. <laughs> The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them.
A down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. A power station. Hmm. Everyone a needs light a hobby, bulb lady. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. I feel like I'm missing some context here. Tor's a romantic, huh? Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes Cynthia, obviously. Oh, Tor, bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it to ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus' remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Sane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Where is Angus Remorse now? Beauty is a young girl in love. A broken brawl twigs it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus Remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bathroom frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. An old folks care home. It's in her bathroom. The Angus Remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Cynthia took the record, and I brought it back. Bathtub record. Angus Remorse, by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Where's the jukebox? The dark water crushed itself. Lady, stop. Uh, museum, maybe?
You want some math scares? Differential equations. Calc 2. Trig was easy. Is that the jukebox? It must be downstairs, first floor. Oh god, dude, what the fuck? Not good. Bro, oh, this is getting really annoying. Chat question for you. If you were playing a game of pool or billiards, right? And you had to calculate the angle of a shot. Is that trigonometry or geometry? This is an argument I had with a friend the other day. I want to see if anybody was on their side. Interesting. There's a lot of people saying geometry. See, to me, geometry is the study of shapes. Trig is the study of angles. So, I would choose trig. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror. Can't whip up my soul. I think it's trig, but. Apparently a lot of people in chat think it's uh think it's geometry. Which is funny, because my friend was like, it's geometry, and I'm like, well, you know, it's okay if you rode the short bus as a child. I'm not gonna judge you. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, it's the study of angles, it's trig. I feel like I need, well, no, I don't have my thing upgraded. Oh god, get off of me with these fucking jump scares, bro. Why not both? I mean, it's it's one or the other. If you're trying to figure out, all right, if I hit this ball, how do I adjust the angle? Are you thinking about the angle or are you thinking, huh, what kind of triangle do I make? No, you're thinking about the angle of the shot. The old world trig is for angles and geometry is for shapes. What do you mean in the old world? Is, is math different now? Has it changed? here so we're just going to be going through this is kind of tight so i'm gonna 
I'm gonna keep the shotgun out. This place. Am I going in circles? Yeah, we are. Go the other way. No, we're not. Hang on, what the fuck, bro? Beware the drowned lady. Okay, well. There's a door. Google trigonometry deals with the measurement of angles. Geometry deals with the properties of angles and the sum of angles. Yeah, the sum of angles that then turn into a shape. My point is, if you're if you're playing pool, you know you're working with one angle typically, maybe maybe an angle that's you know multiple depending on how far you're trying to bank, but it's still you just pulling different angles together to figure out how to do your shot. You're never completing completing it. You know, you're never connecting all the angles to, to form a, an actual shape. Which is why I say it's trig. Are we just not going to let me take the loot? There we go. Sometimes the flashlight's really fucking janky lately. I don't know why. I feel like I'm shining the flashlight on them. It's just not. It's not hitting them. I have to use multiple charges. Yeah, this is way different when the fucking keyboard isn't on Bluetooth mode. Oh, nope. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm dumb. I keep looking up the fucking map. I keep clicking it to make sure I'm not missing anything, but there is no map that I have of this zone. Now I want to go shoot some pool. Let's see if any of the boys want to shoot some pool tonight. Going, bro. This is like the entrance. This is where I started. Where am I supposed to go? This place is just like a series of hallways. It doesn't it doesn't lead to anything. Is this new? Maybe it doesn't loop anymore? No, it still fucking loops. Everything is just beware the drowned lady. down here. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I'll hit this guy probably. Yeah. Hopefully you do something. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? Yeah, it definitely did something. All right. Changed everything. This game is too is there's too much going on in this game, man. I need to If I don't do pool and beers tonight, I definitely need to just like I need to play something brain dead. Some armor core, some Fortnite, some For Honor. I gotta, I gotta play something that doesn't require me to think. It 
It's a loop, like the others. I need to reach the center. Cynthia. She's here. Where you at, Cynthia? I'm gonna put this layer inside your ass. How many ply for effective absorption? Uh, obviously, use a bidet. Who wipes their ass with paper like some kind of animal? Not what I meant to do. It was before we turned this one on? I don't know, man. I really need a map. Where was the... Fuck, that's... I don't think it was that way. I gotta find the cabinet again that was locked. I need to, to find that. Oh, it's right here. It's right next to me. Jesus, man. I'm going out. I'm losing it with this game. So now that we got the bolt cutters, though, is there a door in the immediate vicinity that we can we can bolt? I don't know. Is it back this way? Do I need to? Hope oh, it's a dead end. This is new. No, Baldur's Gate, the update for Baldur's Gate fucked it up. So the mod we are using to play with five people isn't working anymore. We need to wait for that to be updated. On top of that, like, mod manager's broken. Pretty much every everything that's needed for us to play the game together does not work at the moment. So, sadly, no Baldur's Gate tonight. Yeah, very unfortunate timing. I mean, we, we were talking about it, like, we technically we could have played, but we would have had to all roll our game back to the prior version and then reinstall the mod for that rollback, and there ain't no way everyone was going to do that. Next game I'm excited about? Uh, probably something that's about to be announced at the Game Awards. I have a feeling Game Awards, we're either going to hear about the... Well, honestly, I think I think Game Awards... I have two, two big predictions for the Game Awards. One, Monster Hunter 6. Two, Shadow of the Earth Tree. I expect we're going to get information about both of those. Because Shadow of the Erd Tree, I think they're going to... Personally, I think the game's going to come out in, like, February or January. I think, uh... I think it's been in development for a while now. And, I mean, two years... 
makes sense. I think them are What the fuck? Oh, fuck off, lady. I think them releasing the game on Elden Ring's anniversary would make a lot of sense. And the other thing is Capcom keeps talking about how they have a currently unannounced game that is planned. Planned for March. And it doesn't make sense that Capcom would have an unannounced. Oh, all right, I will. All right, full full quote was an unannounced game that's planned for March that's expected to sell millions. What else would Capcom have that's unannounced and going to sell millions? Fucking Monster Hunter Six. It's either that or a new Devil May Cry. And Devil May Cry did sell like seven million. But I mean, like we look at Capcom sales. All right, we look at right, this is off the Capcom website, right? Um, uh, do, 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 one through ten, all. If we're looking at all units, Monster Hunter World, 19 million. If you include Iceborne, 22.7 million. That's for the, the Iceborne Master Edition. Rise, 13.2 million. Resident Evil, 12.6. Biohazard, 12.4. Iceborne by itself, 10.5. And then Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Resident Evil, Street Fighter, which just came out. So. Then we got Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 5 was 7.2 million. So. Dragon's Dogma has already been announced. It's not going to be that. And when I think of millions, 19, 13, 10, those are much bigger than, you know, seven. So I think we're about to get a new Monster Hunter. And yeah, I know some people are like, hey, they could have, you know, what if they're bringing back Mega Man or Anamusha or something? Maybe. But do you really think that would sell millions in the range of, you know, 20 million, 15 million? I don't think it would. I think it would probably be well received, but I don't think it would be a millions seller. I think it's Monster Hunter 6. And I think, I think, I think they're going to announce it at the Game Awards. And then they're going to say that there is a demo that's going to be available like mid-December. And then they're going to drop that shit. And we're going to play the fuck out of it. I don't usually get hopium, but like all the signs, all the signs point towards, towards it happening. Back again. Got to go deeper. It was fun for a while, but should we stop now? Tor! Where are you? Can you hear me? It's so dark. Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo. The hag tricked me. Yeah, I'll be streaming the Game Awards. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Zarga! so damn dark down here. I'm underwater! She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I can't see a way out. Darkness of the metal building. 
Oh, I see. We gotta run across the water. If we're in it too long, she'll get us. Shit. We gotta make little... Little runs. I, I, whatever, I mean, I just hope they do a multi-platform release. I hope they're not, like, coming to PS5 and Xbox, PC soon. No, just fucking release it on PC at the there same time as console. That's all I want. No. I don't like this shit. Oh god, look at her trying to grab me. Oh, how creepy. <laughs> They already did Monster Hunter Mobile, and people aren't really a big fan of it. How the fuck do I get to the generator, bro? This is really annoying. I'm so glad I opened the loot. Oh, it's full. Uh, the generator is over there, but. So I just keep going this way, I guess? I don't see, like, another ledge over there. Going in a fucking circle. Bro, I really don't like this boss fight. I'm not a fan of the slowly work your way around the map. Yeah, this is this is a boss fight. Come on, man. I'm not fucking missing it. I swear to God, it like fucking makes it tighter. I, oh, you, you fucked up. I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on.
What are those? Layers. No, bro, I didn't... Apologize to him yourself. Fuck, dude, this game is just wasting my players. So, when the flares are clipped, it says... R left click, ignite flare. I hit right click and it fucking ignited it and wasted it. Where are you at, lady? What the fuck? Oh, come on, bro. What is this? Bro, what? Am I, am I supposed to just fucking shoot her? This is fucking terrible. This has got to be one of the worst boss fights I've ever experienced. Just shit. I guess I'm just gonna shoot her in the face with a crossbow a bunch. I wish I had a. I should have my fucking rifle right about now. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Is there? I'm sorry, I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Should have brought my rifle along. I'm just gonna hit her in the face with the crossbow a bunch. The fuck, dude? She's dead. Get fucked, idiot. 4090 tough versus rock strix. I mean, the rock strix really isn't worth it. The the price increase. You're spending like an extra what is it, three hundred dollars for like a one percent increase in stats. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake. Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? I have the clicker. We can finish this. Without the clicker. Now, see if you, you can help. We, we, we must find it. I already have it. Honestly, performance across all the 4090s are, are pretty similar for but the I most part. Did you write Logan into the story? 
Wow. It's in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. Air cooling's the fine. Way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. I have liquid cooling on my CPU, but GPU liquid cooling I don't think is needed. Tor. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie pie. <laughs> and I got answers. All right, now we're caught up between her and Alan. Uh, all right, this seems like a pretty good spot to wrap things up, I think. We went through Alan's, we went through Saga's. Let's close out here. I'm going to eat some dinner, spend some time with the kids. Maybe I'll do another stream tonight just to, to chill. I don't know if it would be more Alan Wake. I mean, we could. I could push through. I wonder how, how close are we? How close are we? Let me, let me look up chapters. See how close I'm getting. Um, return. What did I, what did I just finish? Let me, let me look at my little epic achievement thingy. Where do I even see epic achievements at? Uh, my achievements. Let's see. Alan Wake Remastered, where's Alan Wake? Alan Wake, achievements, achievement progress. Um, filter, progress, progress. I wanna see like the most recent. Find the hunting rifle, find the salt off. Nightingale. Watery. We did November 4th. Old Gods. So we have finished chapter 6. Damn. So if we have finished. And then what did I get for, for Wake? Complete return. Okay. So we're through chapter 6 on both. So we probably got two more streams to get through this. So we'll wrap up things here. Um, might might just play. I don't know. I'll I'll figure. I'll, I'll I'll consider later when I cross that bridge. For now, I'm gonna hop off and eat some dinner. So maybe I'll see you guys later. If I don't, maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Either way, I'm heading out for now.